Good morning, guys. Today's wash day. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. Not only is it wash day, today is a day for change. You know what? This is what I'll do. I'm going to film two separate videos, this time for real. You're going to get the hair video by itself, and you're going to get today's vlog by itself. I'm going to do this hair, and then I'm going to come back to you ready to go. All right? Catch you later. Okay, guys. I know I look a hot mess right now, but what I'm going to be doing is lightening my hair. So the product that I'm going to use to do that is this dark and lovely fade resistant rich conditioning lightener i never really expect to get the color that's on the box but this time the reason i do expect it is because this isn't just like a color treatment this is an actual lightener these here are the expected results based on your starting hair color i would say i am the darkest brown to black so this is my expected results from this product which if I do achieve these results, that would be perfectly fine with me. If I get a little bit darker than this, that would still be okay. Let's just go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. So first we have the cream developer. It comes in like a little squeeze bottle. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the squeeze bottle or if I'm gonna dump the product out. Then we have the fade resistant rich conditioning hair lightener. Next we have the high lift booster. And then the last thing we have is the Moisture Rich Conditioner with Nourishing Fruit Oils. So as normal, your instructions come with the gloves attached to protect your hands. Um, so the preparation, you're basically just going to put on the gloves, twist off the tip of the Dark and Lovely Cream Developer, then you add the High Lift Booster Packet to that. From there, you're going to add the permanent hair lightener bottle. So the total processing time should be 30 minutes. It's gonna take 10 minutes to apply and 20 minutes to process. Now when I'm finished, I'm gonna blow out and flat iron my hair um, just because I also want to see how long my hair has gotten. I know you can kind of tell um, in this state that it is much longer, but I still want to just flat iron it, wear it straight for this weekend, and you know, we'll go back to my curls later.
Okay. Definitely lighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then I will show you guys um, my blow dry and flat iron process. Can you tell? All right, so I just blew out my hair. Like, I'm so mad, you guys, because the camera and my light in my bathroom is not picking up this color the way I want it to. I really do think it turned out pretty nice. In person, you can see, like, I don't know, I don't know. It's just not showing the way I want it to on camera. But anyways. Can y'all see? Let me know if you can see. But anyway, so now what I'm gonna do is I have my flat iron here. This is just a random flat iron that was in my bathroom. And I think it's the one my sister uses. But I'm just gonna roughly go through and flat iron my hair. I don't want it to be bone straight. I'm gonna take giant sections and I'm just gonna run it through. Comb chase method, all right? 